hi everyone let's start part 9 so next topic is the road so we got 127 questions let's start where would you expect to find buffer lanes on country roads on high level bridges in built up areas and road walks so buffer lanes on high level bridges you are driving an empty curtain sided vehicle why might you consider tying the curtains open it's a legal requirement to use less fuel to prevent the curtains from tearing to reduce the effect of side wind what's the greatest risk to your safety when you are overtaking on a motorway in very wet weather your steering may become heavy your braking distance may be reduced your engine may get flooded your tires may lose grip yes you are in the left hand lane on a three lane motorway why should you check for any vehicles in the right hand lane before you overtake they may be moving faster than you yes no they may move back to the middle lane as you move out okay when may vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum authorized mass use the right hand lane of a motorway to overtake when other vehicles are turning right when the motorway has two lanes when vehicles are stopped on the hot shoulder when the motorway has three lanes when the motorway has three lanes wrong when the motorway has two lanes okay you are on a wet level road driving at 50 miles per hour what's the minimum time gap you should leave between your vehicle and the uh, one in front so it's a wet road so one second two second four second three second four second yes you are driving in fog when should high intensity rear fog lights be used when visibility falls below 300 meters when visibility falls below 100 meter when visibility falls below 200 meter when visibility falls below 400 meters okay so 100 meter what does this motorway sign mean you are approaching a service area you're approaching a long downhill slope you are approaching a lorry's only lane you are approaching a long uphill slope so uphill slope right you are driving along along a motorway in thick fog at night the reflective studs are red on your left and white on your right which lane are you in middle lane right hand lane left hand lane the hard shoulder left hand lane you have just overtaken another large vehicle how do you know when it's safe to move back to the near side lane by waiting for the driver you have overtaken to flash their headlights by using your hazard warning lights as a signal by checking your near side mirror by moving to the near side hoping the other vehicle will slow down by checking your near side mirror it's raining why would the motorcyclist steer steer around drain covers on a bend To reduce the risk of skidding to avoid splashing body strains to improve their view around the band to avoid puncturing the tires 
to reduce the risk of skidding. When is a high sided vehicle most affected by side wind? When it's traveling empty, when it's traveling loaded. I think first one. What should you do before driving your lorry away from a wet construction site at the side of a motorway? Set your tachograph to other work, turn on your amber beacon, train the air tanks, hose down the wheels, hose down the wheels. You are driving at night, why should you ensure that all your lights are clean and working correctly to allow following, following drivers to use dipped headlights so that other road users can see the size of your vehicle? So that the intensity of street lighting can be reduced to prevent the bent tree from overcharging. Second, so that other road users can see the size of your vehicle. You are driving a lorry of uh, more than 7.5 tons maximum thrust mass along a motorway. When can you use the right hand lane to overtake? When there is a 40 mile speed limit, when the motorway has three lanes. When there is a 50 mile speed limit, when the motorway has two lanes. Two lanes. You are driving a large vehicle in heavy rain on a motorway. You slow down to reduce the risk of aqua planning. For what other reason should you slow down? To reduce the amount of spray thrown up, to prevent water from entering the braking system, to stop the electric getting wet to force other drivers to act properly and slow down to reduce the amount of spray thrown up hmm. second wrong so correct answer is to reduce the amount of spray thrown up okay you are driving in town and see these lights flashing. What should you expect to see ahead? Children crossing the road, contra flow system, uneven road surface, road works ahead. Children crossing the road. Why would you be aware of motorcyclists on a motorway when there are gusty winds? They may be blown into your path, they may suddenly stop on the hot shoulder, they may position to turn right, they may leave at the next exit. They may be blown into your path. You are driving through the night, what could it mean if your steering feels lighter than normal? There isn't enough tread on your tires, your tires are losing pressure, there's ice or frost on the road. There's a leak in the power steering pump. Yes. Okay, so there's ice of frost on the road. What should you do when you overtake a cyclist on a two-way road? Pass closely, staying about one meter from the curb. No, give a right turn signal after you have moved out to overtake. Leave plenty of room and check your near side mirror before returning to the left. Yes, that's the one. When do long vehicles sometimes need to straddle lanes? When turning at tight junctions, when coming to control flow system, when traveling empty, when driving on motorways, the first one. Why is it dangerous to follow a large goods vehicle too closely? Your brakes will overheat, your engine will overheat, your field of vision will be seriously reduced. Yes. Which road users are most likely to be affected by the turbulence created by large vehicles traveling at speed? Drivers of emergency vehicles, mm, drivers of low loaders, drivers towing car ones, drivers of tankers. Mm. Towing car once. You are on a motorway approaching a working snow blow. Why should you stay behind it? So it's illegal to overtake snow blows. Some blows are left hand drive only. Your speed could cause snow to drift behind. 
there may be deep snow ahead there may be deep snow ahead this vehicle is fitted with spray suppression equipment in what weather conditions will it be most useful wind snow fog rain rain you are driving a long vehicle and want to turn right at a roundabout ahead how should you signal if you need to occupy the left hand lane give no signal on approach signal left on approach give us right signal after entering the roundabout signal right on approach signal left on approach give a right signal after entering the roundabout signal left on approach signal right on approach mm. you are driving a high sided vehicle on a motorway where should you be especially aware of the effects of side wind passing large signs and cuttings through tunnels across wide ducts you are driving in fog that's starting to clear when should you switch off your high intensity rear fog lights when visibility is more than 100 meter when visibility is more than 75 i think 100 meter you have just overtaken another vehicle on a motorway what should you avoid when moving back to the left so increase your speed signaling cutting in changing gear cutting in you are following a large vehicle how can you improve your view ahead move over to the right drop further back overtake as soon as you can move over to the left so drop further back you are driving on a motorway and it's raining heavily what should you do when spray is causing poor visibility? Use dipped headlights, use the two second rule, use side lights only. Remove spray suppression equipment. <clears throat> use dipped headlights. You are driving in the left hand lane of a motorway. What should you do when you see a large vehicle merging from a slip road ahead? Stay at the maximum speed allowed for your vehicle. Be ready to adjust your speed. Leave the other vehicle to adjust its speed. So be ready to adjust your speed, right? You are driving in wet weather. What effect will faulty spray suppression equipment have on other drivers? They will be able to overtake more easily. Their vision will be reduced. They will need to use intermittent wipers their vision will be increased they will need to use wrong their vision will be reduced okay what should you do if you intend to overtake a lorry that's throwing up spray wait for the lorry to slow down on a hill wait until the other drivers gives a left signal move out earlier than normal get much closer before moving out earlier than normal okay which vehicle is least likely to be affected by high wind mm, car you are on a motorway and the surface is still wet after rain why should you take care when you are overtaking vehicle may be parked on the hot shoulder the road may still be slippery second you are driving a high sided vehicle in very windy conditions where should you avoid traveling mm. up steep hills along country lanes across suspension bridges through road tunnels up steep hills wrong across suspension bridges okay what should you do as you approach these roadworks? 
Use your endurance brake, check your mirrors, flash your headlights, select the higher gear. So use your endurance brake, no, check your mirrors, okay. Why are brushes fitted to this vehicle's wheel arch? To stop snow building up behind the wheel, to reduce spray on wet roads, to clear mud from the tires on building sides, to remove objects from the tire in a tread, to reduce spray on wet roads. What should you do when you drive in windy weather? So, Anticipate how the weather may affect other road users. Always keep to your intended route. Stay close to smaller or vulnerable vehicles as you overtake them. Maintain a constant speed in exposed areas. Hmm, first one. What should you do if you see a vehicle too close behind when you are driving in traffic on the motorway? So briskly accelerate away from the vehicle behind, increase your distance from the vehicle in front, switch your rear fog lamps on and off, and touch the brake pedal sharply to show your brake lights. Mm, increase your distance from the vehicle in front. First, no, increase your distance from the vehicle in front, okay. Which vehicles are most likely to be affected by high winds? Slow moving vehicle, track lying vehicles, cut and sided vehicles, yes. You are overtaking a motorcycle in windy conditions. Why should you check your near side mirror? Hmm. To see if the rider is in control of the motorcycle, to check your road position, to check that it's properly adjusted, to see if other vehicles have been affected if the rider is in control of the motorcycle you're driving at 50 miles on a dry level road what gap should you leave be between your vehicle and the one in front two vehicle lengths at least a one second gap one vehicle length at least a two second gap where are these lights found near school Yes. You are driving at a speed of 50 miles in good dry conditions. What distance should you stay behind the vehicle in front? At least 23 meter. At least 53 meter. At least 73 meter. Hmm, at least 36 meter. So, 23 or 36 stay behind the vehicle in front it's 36 meter wrong at least 53 meters okay what ground conditions are suitable for a tipper lorry to tip its load solid and level yes when shouldn't you overtake when the speed limit has been reduced when you would have to break the speed limit when your view of the road ahead is clear when you are approaching motorway slip roads um, when you would have to break the speed limit yes you are driving on a dual carriageway and intend to overtake the vehicle ahead what should you do if there is a car approaching quickly behind you in the right hand lane signal left while waiting for the car to pass Move up closer to the slow vehicle, stay behind the slow vehicle, signal right and move out. So stay behind the slow vehicle. You are driving in wet conditions. What should you try to do before braking? Make sure that there is no mist on your rear view mirrors. Make sure that your vehicle is traveling in a straight line. Make sure that all spray suppression equipment is working. Make sure that the gear level, gear lever is in neutral. Hmm. Make sure that there is no mist on your rear view mirrors. Make sure the vehicle is traveling in a straight line. Mm. 
Mm, what condition? Third wrong. Make sure that vehicle is traveling in a straight line. Okay. You are driving on a motorway after it's been raining heavily. What should you do if spray is being thrown up, causing poor visibility? Mm. Mm. Remove spray special when I keep a two second gap. Use deep headlights. Reduce your separation distance. Use deep headlights. When are air deflectors most effective? When there's a headwind, when there's a strong tailwind, when reversing, when there's a side wind. When there's a side wind. Wrong. When there's a headwind. Okay. Why should you take extra care when overtaking at night? Every driver will normally be tired. Most towns are not adequately lit. Speed and distance are harder to judge. Large vehicles are subject to a 10% speed reduction. Every driver will normally be tired. Wrong. Speed and distance are harder to judge. Okay. You are driving in heavy rain. What should you do if your steering suddenly feels very light? Steer towards the center line, brake very sharply, ease of the accelerator, increase your speed. Mm, ease of the accelerator. What should you do when you are overtaking a motorcyclist in very windy condition? Keep close as you pass, overtake slowly, allow extra room, sound your horn as you pass, so allow extra room. You are driving in the left hand lane on a three lane motorway. What should you check for before moving into the middle lane to overtake a slower vehicle? So, traffic behind that's trying to pass on your left. So, traffic ahead moving into the right hand lane. Traffic behind in the right hand lane returning to the middle lane. Traffic that's intending to leave at the next exit. Third, when do you need to be careful of when you are driving in high winds? Mm, a risk of grounding, steep gradients, poor visibility, fallen trees. So, risk of grounding, fallen trees. What's the minimum distance you should allow for braking when it's rainy, raining heavily? Five times the normal distance, three times the normal, the normal distance, twice the normal distance. You are driving on a motorway in heavy rain. What could cause your steering to become unresponsive? Mm. Water reducing the tires grip on the road. Breaking gently and in good time. Yes. No. Water reducing the tires grip on the road. Okay. The road is wet. Why should you slow down as you approach this pedestrian? To encourage them to cross because there are no road markings to avoid splashing them. Yes. Why should you be especially aware of parked cars when you are driving at night? There are more of them, the drivers may be drunk, they are more likely to move off, they can park without lights, they can park without lights, okay. What should you do if an overtaking vehicle pulls in too close in front of you? Overtake when you can, stay close behind, slow down, slow down. What component fitted to your vehicle will help following drivers in wet weather? So, spray reducers. Which vehicle is most at risk in windy conditions? So, saloon car, tractor unit, single deck bus, high sided lorry. Single deck high-sided lorry. 
what should you do after overtaking on a dual carriageway indicate left then right wait for the other driver to flash their headlights switch your rear lights on and off move back to the left when it's safe to do so what's a crawler lane 4 to enable emergency vehicles to get quickly to the scene of an incident to enable large vehicles to park out of the way to enable other traffic to overtake on the near side to enable slow moving traffic to move further over to the left on uphill gradients yes it's very windy and you are overtaking a motorcyclist on a motorway what should you be aware of that may cause them problems the buff buffeting effect your exhaust smoke the tire noise your engine noise so tire noise no buffeting effect okay what should you do before driving your high-sided lorry in windy weather mm, check your wind deflector yes plan your route in advance okay how should you slow down or stop when you are driving on an icy road always use the retarder brake gently and in good time change down through the gears use the parking brake on a rapid on and off movement so brake gently yes what should you do when you park your vehicle on a two-way road at night use the parking lights so yes you are driving a lorry from a wet construction site onto a motorway why must you take extra precautions before leaving the site okay Mm, your lorry space special equipment will be inoperative it's an offense to emerge from a walk site onto a motorway your view from the cab will be obscured by plant machinery it's an offense to deposit mud on the road you are driving along a motorway and see this sign what does it mean there's a steep downhill section ahead no the vehicles fitted with speed limiters must use that lane now there's a long uphill gradient ahead yes where would you anticipate problems when you are driving a high-sided vehicle on a windy day in dead ground on ring roads on high level roads in road tunnels so on ring roads no on high level roads okay you are about to pass this car what's the main hazard you should be aware of its alarm may be activated the driver's door may suddenly open yes you are driving on a motorway what should you do if your view ahead is restricted by heavy spray mm. Use the two second rule. Move into the lane on the right. Switch on your dipped headlights. Leave the motor at the next exit. Switch on your dipped headlights. High sided vehicles can be affected by side wind. On which type of road is this most likely? Open roads, slip roads, narrow country lanes, motor wind repasses, open roads in fast traffic when should you leave a two second gap between your vehicle and the one in front when it's raining and the roads are wet when you're driving in fog when the roads are dry yes you are driving a large vehicle in gusty conditions which vehicle is most likely to be affected by buffeting when you overtake it mm. A motorcycle, a flatbed lorry, a loaded tank or a car, a motorcycle. What should you do before overtaking on a single carriageway road? Flash your headlights at oncoming traffic. Look ahead for road junctions. Drive very close to the vehicle in front. Make a final check in your left hand mirror. Mm. Mm, 
Look ahead for road junctions. Yes. In strong winds, an overtaking lorry can cause additional air turbulence that can affect other road users. Which vehicle is most at risk from this turbulence? A coach, a car, a motorcycle, a delivery van, a motorcycle. Why can visibility be worse when driving at high speed in wet weather? Windscreen wipers obstruct your view. More spray will be thrown up. Headlights will dazzle you more easily. Drivers bunch together when it's raining. More spray will be thrown up. What do you need to be aware of when you drive over an exposed suspension bridge? So the width of the lane, the overhanging bridge covers the swing of the bridge, the effect of strong side wind. The effect of strong side wind, okay. You are driving a lorry towards a high bridge on a windy day. What should you expect? Changed wheel limits, lane closure, no screen for lorry, no restrictions for lorries, minimum speed limit. Mm. Changed wheel limits, no restriction, lane closure. So minimum speed limit now lane closures. How should you drive through flood water? Slowly in a low gear with engine speed with engine speed high. A normal speed when you have sprayed you just fit it as quickly as possible to cause the least delay. Slowly in a high gear with engine speed low first. You are overtaking another lorry. What should you do if you start to lose speed due to an uphill gradient? Continue at the same speed and in the same position. Try to force the vehicle you were overtaking to drop back. Ease off and drop behind the vehicle you were trying to overtake. Yes. You are waiting at a T-junction. What should you do if you see your vehicle is coming from the right? with its left indicator flashing move out and accelerate hard pull out before the vehicle reaches the junction move out slowly wait until the vehicle starts to turn in you are driving your lorry on the motorway what should you do when visibility is reduced by heavy rain and spray use main beam headlights stay in the left hand lane double your Drive by the separation distance, maintain a constant speed. Hmm. So, double your drive by the separation distance. So, double your drive by the okay. When would weight transference be most likely to occur? When you are cornering, when you are reversing, when you are loading, when you are overtaking. When you are cornering. The entrances to roundabouts are often slippery when they are wet. How should you deal with this hazard? Break in good time, stay in the left hand lane, stop before emerging, use the hand brake. Stop before emerging. Okay, break in good time. How should you use the brakes in icy weather? Gently. Yes. What's a buffer lane? A lane to park in until the wind drops. A safety lane for vehicles blown off course. The only lane to be used in high winds. A lane for overtaking safely. Uh, the only lane to be used in high winds. A safety lane for vehicles blown off course. A lane to park in until the wind drops. Buffer lane. Second.
you are driving at the speed limit in the left hand lane of a motorway what should you do if you see lower is merging from a slip road ahead try to accelerate past them move to the next lane if it's safe brake heavily and let them merge expect them to stop and let you pass hmm move to the next lane if it's safe when should you use the two second rule to keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front when it's raining to keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front when it's icy to keep safe distance from the vehicle in front in queuing traffic to keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front when conditions are good when should you use a crawler lane when letting faster traffic overtake you when slowing down for a motorway exit when turning right from a major road when parking to have a rest um, so when letting faster traffic overtake you what does it indicate if you see white lights on a vehicle at night? It's facing towards you, it's moving away from you, it's stationary and facing away from you, it's ahead of you and braking. It's facing towards you. When is a buffer lane most likely to be in use? When it's raining, when it's foggy, when it's icy, when it's windy. You are driving on a motorway in heavy rain. When are you allowed to use high intensity rear fog lights? Only when you are being followed closely by other traffic, when visibility is reduced to 100 meters, yes. What's the best way to control your vehicle when driving on snow? So drive in your vehicle's lowest gear. Keep the engine revs high and spin the wheel. Keep the engine revs high and slip the clutch. Drive slowly in a higher gear than normal. So drive in your vehicle's lowest gear. Drive slowly in a higher gear than normal just wrong okay when do drivers of long vehicles need to straddle lane when driving on motorway when they need to avoid braking sharply when they need to avoid mounting the curb yes you are in the center lane of a motorway overtaking another vehicle what should you do before returning to the left hand lane Check behind for fast traffic in the right hand lane. Check ahead and then you need a near side mirror. Wait for the route flash. No signal left, then check the mirror. Check ahead and then your near side mirror. You are, you are driving behind two cyclists. They are approaching a roundabout in the left hand lane. What should you expect them to do? Turn left and right, go in any direction. Yes. How will gravity affect a laden vehicle going downhill? The load will be more stable, stopping distance will be decreased, more braking effort will be required. The vehicle will use more fuel. The load will be more stable. Wrong correct answer is more braking effort will be required okay what should you do before you start to overtake a lorry look well ahead for uphill gradient check your position in the left hand mirror close right up before pulling out change quickly to a higher gear okay your lorry has a curtain sided body. Your route will take you over several high level bridges. Why should you check the weather forecast before starting your journey? In hot weather, the bridges might be closed to heavy traffic. 
Rain can make crossing bridges very difficult for large vehicles. You won't be able to cross the bridge if it's frosty. High level bridges may be closed to certain vehicles in windy weather. Yes. You are driving an articulated lorry on a three lane motorway. When can you drive in the right hand lane? When the escort vehicle of an oversized load signals you to pass when overtaking a slow moving car in the middle lane. If no speed limiter is fitted to your lorry, if your lorry is unladen. Second, no. Okay, when the escort vehicle of an oversized load signals you to pass. Okay. You are driving in heavy rain. Why do you need to increase your distance from the vehicle in front? To allow for an increased stopping distance, to reduce the risk of water spraying into the filters, to let other motorists move into the gap, to prevent rain from entering the vehicle's braking system. First, you are driving a fully laden vehicle approaching an uphill gradient. What will happen if you start to overtake? You will need to use a higher gear. The way of the load will help you go faster. You will take longer to get past. You will be able to get past more quickly. Mm. You will take longer to get past. What must you be certain of before you overtake at night? There's an overtaking lane you can see well ahead. You are up outside a built up area, the road's well lit. You can see well ahead. When may you use your vehicle's hazard warning lights while it's moving? When you are on a motorway and traffic ahead slows suddenly. Which lane should you use when you are driving on a clear motorway? at the speed limit for your vehicle the left hand lane yes you are on a motorway and there is a strong way strong side wind which vehicle is particularly at risk a road tanker a motorcycle what should you be aware of when you are overtaking on a motorway while it's raining heavily Visibility will be reduced by spray from traffic. Your braking distance will be reduced. Manhole covers will be slippery. Man. There will be distracting bright reflections. So, uh, how much longer will your stopping distance be in snow than in dry weather? Five times, ten times as long twice as long four times so then hmm, 10 times yes what might happen if using the brakes continuously causes them to overheat The brakes will work better, the air pressure will increase, the brake pedal will become stiff. The brakes will be less effective. What problems may you have when driving at night? It takes longer to stop, you will have reduced visibility, there will be an increase in traffic, it's more difficult to keep to speed limits. You will have reduced visibility. You are driving a high-sided vehicle on a motorway. You should anticipate the effects of side wind. When is this most likely to happen? Mm. When passing signs in control system in service area on export sections. You are driving on a motorway, you look in your mirrors and see smoke coming from your rear tires. 
what should you do store press on other safe to do so yes what should you do as you approach a zebra crossing stop before the zigzag lines wave position across the road sound the horn and flash at lights be prepared to stop in good time why should you take care before moving into the center lane of a three-lane motorway The reflective start may be missing in the center lane. The center lane is narrower than the left hand lane. The bright height at clearance will be less in the center lane. Traffic in the center lane may be traveling much faster than you. How could you reduce the problems caused by a strong side wind when driving an empty curtain sided vehicle on an exposed bridge? tie open the curtain on the side the winds blowing from leave both curtains closed tie both curtains open okay what should you do before changing lanes to overtake on a motorway look over your left shoulder change to a lower gear check your mirrors carefully yes why is tailgating dangerous your view ahead is reduced yes what time gap should you leave when you are following a vehicle on a wet road at least three seconds at least two seconds yes on wet road okay at least four seconds okay what should you do when you want to join a motorway where traffic is flowing freely? Build up your speed on the slip road before joining the motorway. Use the hard shoulder if necessary to build up speed first. You are driving downhill. How will this affect your vehicle? It will need more engine power. It will be easier to change direction. It will increase fuel consumption. It will take longer to stop. Yeah, it will take longer to stop. Which of these vehicles is most at risk from strong side wind? An unladen lorry with box body. An unladen lorry with platform body. A laden lorry with box body. A laden lorry with platform body. Box body. No. An unladen lorry with box body. Okay. When should you check your vehicle spray suppression equipment? Only when you will be using a motorway. Only as part of a pre-winter check before setting out on every journey yes finish test 80 percent correct okay let's see wrong one you are in the left hand lane on a three lane motorway why should you check for any vehicles in the right hand lane before you overtake they may move back to the middle lane as you move out okay when may vehicles over 7.5 tons maximum thrust mass use the right hand lane of a motorway to overtake when the motorway has two lanes okay you are driving a large vehicle in heavy rain on a motorway you slow down to reduce the risk of aqua planning for what other reason should you slow down to reduce the amount of spray thrown up Mm -hmm. okay you are driving through the night what could it mean if your steering feels lighter than normal there's ice or frost on the road okay you are driving in wet weather what effect will faulty space suppression equipment have on other drivers their vision will be reduced. 
Okay. You are driving a high-sided vehicle in very windy condition. Where should you avoid traveling? Across suspension bridges. What should you do as you approach these roadworks? Check your mirrors. What should you do if you see a vehicle too close behind when you are driving in traffic on the motorway? Increase your distance from the vehicle in front. You are driving at a speed of 50 miles in good dry conditions. What distance should you stay behind the vehicle in front? At least 53 meter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are driving in wet conditions. What should you try to do before braking? Make sure that your vehicle is traveling in a straight line. When are air deflectors most effective when there is a headwind? Why should you take extra care when overtaking at night? Speed and distance are harder to judge. Okay. You are driving on a motorway in heavy rain. What could cause your steering to become unresponsive? Water reducing the tires grip on the road. Okay. What why should you be especially aware of parked cars when you are driving at night? They can park without lights. Okay. It's very windy and you are overtaking a motorcyclist on a motorway. What should you be aware of that may cause them problems? The buffeting effect. Okay. What should you do before driving your high-sided lorry in windy weather? Plan your route in advance. Mm -hmm. Where would you anticipate problems when you are driving a high-sided vehicle on a windy day? On high-level roads. Okay. What do you need to be aware of when you drive over an exposed suspension bridge? The effect of strong side wind. You are driving a lorry towards a high bridge on a windy day. What should you expect? Lane clearers. The entrances to roundabouts are often slippery when they are wet. How should you deal with this hazard? Brake in good time. Okay. What's the best way to control your vehicle when driving on snow? Drive slowly in a higher gear than normal. How will gravity affect the laden vehicle going downhill? More braking effort will be required. Okay. You are driving an articulated lorry on a three lane motorway. When can you drive in the right hand lane? When the escort vehicle of an oversized load signals you to pass. Mm -hmm. What time gap should you leave when you are following a vehicle on a wet road? At least 4 seconds. Okay. So which of these vehicles is most at risk from strong side wind? An unladen lorry with box body okay that's it all done okay then thanks for watching bye